Now Salagadula means a menchikabula rule. But the thing in the pot that does the job is bibbidi bobbidi boo. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I already prepped my skin, covered my brows, put on this wig cap, and yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I do is I apply my foundation. So I just dot this on my face and then grab my beauty blender and just buff it, not buff it, stipple it into place. So I just kind of do pouncing motions and push it into my skin. To prevent my eyeshadows from creasing, I take Milani's eyeshadow primer and I apply this all over my lids. Next, I dip into my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I take this beige color here and with a nice fluffy brush, I apply this all over my eye area. This is just going to create a nice smooth base so all my other colors blend seamlessly. Then I take this gray color and I apply this into my crease using windshield wiper motions and at the very end, I don't point it out, I leave it very round. Next, I take my fine eyeliner brush from LA Girl and I just line my eyes and I don't wing them out, I just create a nice round line. Then I grab my eyelash curler and apply mascara. Next I take my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Auburn and I just fill in my brows. She had very round, sweet looking brows. So mine's are very thick, so that's why I covered mine. But if your brows are already like this, you don't have to cover yours beforehand. Next I take my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and I just apply this underneath my eyes, kind of like in a triangle shape. And then I take my Beauty Blender and then I just blend this out. And then after this, I powder off camera. Next, I take this matte bronzer from MAC and I just apply this onto my cheekbones. Then I dip into my BH120 palette and with this medium pink, I'm going to use this as blush. Then I take Silly from MAC, this is a nice medium pink, and I apply this onto my lips. Okay, onto the creepy stuff. Now, if you just want to be Cinderella, you can definitely skip this step and do this same makeup on the other side, but you know me, I like to get a little freaky, so I apply orange to half of my face, and this is a Snazaroo paint. You use this by activating it with water, so I just spritz a little water beforehand. Then I dip into these two oranges. One is a little bit more red and then the other one's more like a true orange and you can't really see it on camera, but I'm just creating lines kind of mapping out where I want the ridges to be. And I kind of make them like parentheses, but not really. I make them very round and C-shaped like. Then I dip into my Saucebox Etude palette and then same thing, I'm just gonna line this out. Since I already put the orange beforehand, I know exactly where this is gonna go and I just create lines slowly blending them downwards. And then I also do the outside of the pumpkin. So I leave a gap in between my skin and when the end of the pumpkin is gonna be. So that middle beige part is gonna be kind of like when you crack open a pumpkin and you see the seam. Once I have all the black shadows down, I grab a blending brush and I blend everything out so the black fades into my foundation. Then I pick up a little bit more of that black and I blend it even further, blending downwards. Once my black shadows are all blended out, I go in with my black Snazaru paint. Same thing, I activate it with water and with a fine liner brush, I just apply this all over the pumpkin area. This is just going to create very nice definition and very clean lines, so I feel like this step is probably the most important. And at the very top of the pumpkin, I just want to create a nice crisp line, so it's like a crisp black line and then it fades into that black into the orange. Once all that dries, I go in with my white Snazaroo paint and to make the pumpkin look like it's popping out at you, like you know the rule, highlight brings things out, contour makes things go back in. So highlighting the center is really gonna help make the pumpkin look more rounded and stand out. Once I put the white down, I go in with a dry sponge and I blend it out. Next, I take my blue Snazaroo paint and I mix a lot of my white Snazaroo paint with it to make a nice baby blue. And I stipple this onto my skin with a beauty blender and this is going to be my dress. Now, if you already have a Cinderella dress, you can just skip this step and put that on. Once I get that nice and opaque, I go in with this medium blue. Just in the very edges, I start deepening, deepening, I can't even say that word, deepening up the edges so it kind of fades from that medium blue into that baby blue. I go back to my soft box at Tooth Palette. This time I'm taking the soft brown and that shoe fell over. Dang it. But 
Anyways, I take that soft brown and at the very edge onto my skin, I just start applying this to kind of look like the dress is giving me a shadow onto my skin. I go back to my black snazaroo paint and I paint on the necklace choker thing that she has. Now if you already have one, you can skip this step and if you don't have one, I feel like this is a very cheap way to do it because you don't have to go out and buy a choker, but yeah. Off camera, I apply these lashes from Coco Lashes. Then I go in with my NYX Butter Gloss and I just apply this all over my lips. And then I did put on my wig and then a contact. This one's Innocent White from Desio. I go back to that orange cream paint and I fill in a little bit of a pumpkin piece on my shoulder. Then I go in with my green snazzer paint and I start creating all the little vines so I just kind of create swirls going up and down. I go back in with that black eyeshadow and I start lining the edges and then I create more of those C parenthesis shapes on the pumpkin. And I am chismeando with Ruby so that's why you see my lips moving a lot. And then same thing as my face, I just repeat the process, so I grab a blending brush and I blend everything out. And then I go in with my white snazzeroo paint, and to make the center pop, I just apply this in between the parentheses, and my hand is totally covering, you can't even see. And then I don't know why I didn't grab the dry sponge, I just grabbed my blending brush, but you can do that too to help blend out the edges. So I just get my blending brush and just smooth everything out. Then I go back into that black snazzer paint and I start lining everything out. So I make these edges very jagged, so not so like pointy like my face. I wanted this part to be a little bit softer. So I just kind of do little squiggly lines and then I line the insides as well. And then I also start lining all the vines. So I just go in the middle of the leaf and create a line and then line the outsides. I go back to my soft box at Tude Palette, this time taking the gray eyeshadow and I start creating shading underneath the vines to kind of look like they're on top of my skin and it's kind of like casting a shadow. And I never realized this before but I do say kinda like a lot. If it bugs you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then the last thing that I do is I go in with my white snazzer paint and then I just start creating little dots everywhere, you know the part where the fairy godmother turns her into a beautiful gal or whatever, she was already beautiful before, but she just had a nicer wardrobe. Um, you see all this like pixie dust or fairy dust or fairy godmother dust everywhere and stars. So I just recreate that onto my body. And here's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying 31 days of Halloween. I only have one more video left to do and I'm so sad. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But definitely leave requests down below. Let us know what you want to see. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!